Hello everyone, I'm Sarah of Rich Textures Crochet and welcome. Today we're going to learn how to crochet the ice beanie, which you can see here in front of you. The ice beanie is an intermediate crochet pattern uh, simply because of these decreased stitches here up at the top. But other than that, it's front and back post double crochet. So if uh, you have a hang of those, uh, then this pattern might be for you. And if not, follow along in the video tutorial and it will be sure to help out. So the ice beanie is a beanie that is great for men or women. Uh, it is reversible, but it's the same colors on the inside as it is on the out. It's worked all as one piece from the bottom up and you can customize it again. This one is uh, to fit an adult head fairly snugly so about 20 to 22 inch circumference with no slouch but uh, later on I'll tell you how you can give this beanie a little bit of slouch if you'd like. For the design today I'm using some felted tweed by Rowan yarn. It's a mixed blend yarn, a light DK weight I'm pairing it with a four millimeter hook. Each of these balls is 50 grams. Uh, it has, let me see here, 191 yards. And you're going to use about half a ball uh, per color uh, for the beanie. I am working in this screed color, the lighter color, and then my darker color is the maritime blue. So you'll need two colors in your light weight yarn as well a four millimeter crochet hook and of course a yarn needle for weaving in your ends. So thank you so much for joining me while you're here. I invite you to subscribe, take a look around. There are uh, many other crochet beanie patterns here that you would like to check out. Uh, feel free to say hello down in the comments and of course if you make this beanie be sure to tag me on social media because I love to admire your work. As we get started, just a quick reminder to don't forget to subscribe and uh, hit that little notification bell so that you're notified every time there is a new free pattern, such as this ice beanie. Now, as I mentioned, this beanie is worked from the bottom up. So we're going to start with our color A. I'm using this lighter blue, and you'll start by making a slip knot. And you're going to work a foundation chain, and your foundation chain will need to have 90 chains. If you would like to adjust the size of your beanie, you will just need a multiple of two stitches for your foundation chain. So at the moment, we're going to chain 90. Once you have your foundation chain worked of 90 chains, without twisting your chain, so, uh, there are a few tricks to doing this. I'm just going to run my fingers down along the chain to make sure that they're all facing upward. So without twisting the chain, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the first stitch. Now as we get started on the pattern here, if you would like to follow along on the written pattern, it is free on my blog at richtexturescrochet.com and there is a direct link for you in the description of this video. Once you have joined with a slip stitch into that first stitch, you're going to chain one. You're now going to uh, work into the foundation chain and into the same stitches joining, work a single crochet stitch and then single crochet into each stitch all the way around. Now you'll see me working into the back bumps here of my stitches. Um, it's up to you as far as if you want to work into the back bumps or into one of the top loops or under both loops. It's really up to you. So single crochet into each stitch all the way around your foundation chain and then join with a slip stitch into the top of that first stitch. At the end of round one, you've worked a single crochet in each stitch all the way around. You're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. 
Do not turn your work. Uh, you will not turn your work at the end of each round in this project. So you should have a nice ring which is going to form the brim of your hat. For round two, we're going to chain one, continue working in the same direction. Start by working a half double crochet into the same stitch as joining. And then a half double crochet into each stitch all the way around. When you come to your first stitch, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round two, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. For rounds three through to 17, so for the next 15 rounds, you're going to repeat this round three. For round three, you're going to chain one and around the post of the first stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet. So this is our first stitch. We also have this chain one here. And when I work this stitch, I'm going to work also around the chain one. So to work our front post double crochet, you're going to yarn over, insert your hook, bring your hook in front of your work, insert your hook around the post of the next stitch from front through to back out through the front again, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. That's your front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post double crochet around the post of your next stitch. So yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work and insert your hook from the back through to the front around the front and out through the back again around the post of the next stitch. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, yarn over and pull through two more. We're going to repeat that working front and back post double crochet stitches all the way around. So our next stitch we're going to work a front post double crochet followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by your back post. And you're going to repeat this all the way around. Join with a slip stitch into your top of your first front post stitch, chain one and repeat. So we're going to repeat this round for a total of 15 times. And in the final stitch of the last round, we're going to switch color. And I will show you exactly how to do that once I have completed my round 17. So meet me back here at the end of round 17. Once you have worked 15 rounds, of your front and back post double crochet. This is what your work looks like from the single crochet round up. At the end of that 15 round, round um, so we're on round 17, you're going to switch to your color B. I have my final stitch here remaining in the round. So to switch to my color B, I'm going to yarn over, insert my hook around, the post, and this is a back post double crochet of the next stitch, yarn over and draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two loops, and then drop your color A, pick up your color B, place it on your hook, and pull through. You can then join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch using that new color and chain one. At this time you can fasten off your color A and then weave in that end either now or later on. You're then going to work six more rounds of front and back post double crochet using your new color. So beginning with that first front post double crochet around the first stitch and then back post double crochet 
around the next stitch. Continue all the way around, join with a slip stitch into your first stitch, and repeat. So for rounds 18 through to 23, for six more rounds, work front and back post double crochet. Then meet me back here. At the end of round 23, this is what your work from the beginning looks like. You've worked six rounds now in your color B, and you're going to join with a slip stitch. We're now ready to begin the decrease round, so we're going to shape the top of our hat. Now the rule of thumb when working these decrease rounds is if you have a front post stitch, you're working a front post around the front post, and if you have a back post stitch, you're working around the back post. So we're going to start round 24 with a chain one, and you're going to work front or back post double crochet stitches in each of the first seven stitches. So we're going to start with the front post, double crochet, and back post. There's two, three, another front post, four, five, six, and seven. So I've worked a front post, then a, and then I've worked a back post, front post, three more times for a set total of seven stitches. You're then going to work a back front post double crochet two together. So what I mean is you're going to work uh, a two together stitch, but the first part of the stitch is going to be a back post double crochet, and the second part of the stitch is going to be a front post double crochet. So to begin, yarn over, bring your hook in back of your work, wrap it around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, drop a loop, and yarn over and pull through two loops. You're then going to yarn over, now work a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, insert your hook, yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You have three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three loops. So that's your back post, front post, double crochet two together. You're then going to continue the pattern, so working a back post or front post double crochet around each of the next seven stitches. So starting with our back post, because that's what we have, back post double crochet, followed by a front post and a back post. We're going to repeat that two more times, front post, back post, front post, and back post. So you've worked seven stitches. You're then going to work a two together stitch. This time it's going to be a front post, back post, two together. So bring your hook in front of your work, front post, work the first part of a front post double crochet around the post of that first stitch, and then work the first part of a back post double crochet around the next stitch. Three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You're then going to repeat that all the way around. A front or back post double crochet around each of the next seven stitches. followed by a front or a back post front post double crochet two together then continue front or back post double crochet stitches around each of the next seven stitches
And this time you're going to work your front post, back post, double crochet, two together. So repeat that all the way around and then join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round 24, you're going to chain one, do not turn your work. For round 25, we're going to continue working decrease rounds to form the top of our beanie. We're going to start by working six front and back post double crochet stitches. So in this first stitch, work a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. Going to repeat that twice more, front post, followed by a back post double crochet, a front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet stitch. Once you've worked your six stitches uh, over the next two stitches, which includes your next front post double crochet and this uh, together two together stitch, you're going to work a front post double crochet two together. So yarn over, insert your hook from, from the front through to the back, around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two. Repeat that around the entire post of the next stitch. So you're working around that entire double crochet two together stitch from the front through to the back, out through the front. Yarn over, pull through two, three loops on your hook, yarn over and pull through all three. You're then going to continue working. This time you're going to start with the back post double crochet, followed by a front post double crochet, and you're going to repeat that two more times. Back post and front post. Once more back post and a front post. You're then going to work a back post double crochet, two stitches together around the next two stitches. So yarn over, bring your hook and back of your work and insert from the back around front and out through the back again. Yarn over, drop a loop, yarn over and pull through two. You're going to do the same around the next double crochet two together, bring your hook and back of your work, insert from the back, out through the front and the back again. Yarn over, draw up a loop, yarn over and pull through two, and then yarn over and pull through two more. You're then going to repeat that all the way around. So work six front and back post double crochet stitches, starting with your front post double crochet. There's two, front post, and another back post for four, five and six, followed by a front post double crochet two together, then starting with a back post double crochet, work six post stitches, That's number four, five, and six, followed by a back post, double crochet, two together around the posts of each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into your first stitch. At the end of round 25, you should have a total of 70 stitches. For round 26, chain one. You're going to begin by working a front post double crochet around the post of the first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, and a front post double crochet 
around the post of the next. You want to repeat those last two stitches once more. So back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a front post double crochet stitch. You now want to work a two together stitch. This time we're going to work a back post, front post, double crochet two together. So there's the back post, double crochet portion, yarn over, insert your hook from the front post, around the post of the next stitch, yarn over, pull through two, and complete your stitch. You're then going to work five more post stitches, so back post, double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a front post, double crochet, back post, double crochet, and a front post, and then one more back post double crochet stitch. You're going to come to your two together stitch. This time we're going to work a front post, back post, double crochet stitch around the post of the next two stitches. And you're then going to repeat those last several stitches all the way around. So start with your front post and work five post stitches. Followed by a back post, front post, two together. Then repeat uh, five more post stitches starting with a back post, double crochet, and five, followed by a front post, back post, double crochet, two together. If you're finding this confusing, once again, head on over to richtexturescrochet.com and pull up that free written pattern. Basically what we're doing is we're keeping our front post stitches, front posts, and our back post stitches, back post stitches. So continue to repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch when you come back to your first stitch. At the end of round 26, you'll have a total of 60 stitches. For round 27, you're going to chain one, work a front post double crochet around the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet, and you're going to repeat that one more time. Front post, followed by a back post, you're then going to work a front post double crochet around the posts of the next two stitches. Then beginning with a back post double crochet around the next stitch, followed by a front post and repeat that once more. Back post and front post and then work a back post double crochet around the post of the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around. So starting with a front post double crochet, work post stitches around each of the next four stitches. A front post double crochet two together then starting with a back post double crochet work post stitches around each of the next four stitches and then work a back post double crochet around the posts of each of the next two stitches. Repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. 
At the end of round 27, you'll really be seeing the decrease there coming in the top of your hat. You'll have a total of 50 stitches. For round 28, we're going to chain one, work a front post double crochet around the post of that first stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch and another front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post, front post, two stitches together. So there's my back post, front post, two stitches together. Then you're going to work three more post stitches starting with a back post double crochet followed by a front post double crochet and one more back post double crochet. You're then going to work a front post back post two stitches together and then repeat three mo more post stitches starting with your front post double crochet followed by a back post and front post then work a back post front post two stitches together Starting with a back post double crochet, work three more post stitches, followed by a front post, back post, double crochet two together. You're going to repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 28, you're going to join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch and chain one. You will have at the end of round 28 a total of 40 stitches. For round 29, we've chained one. We're going to work a back post double crochet, uh, a front post double crochet around the post of the next stitch, followed by a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch. You're then going to work a front post double crochet two together. Next, work a back post double crochet stitch, followed by a front post double crochet stitch, and then back post double crochet two together. Repeat from the beginning all the way around. So front post double crochet, followed by a back post double crochet, front post and then a front post double crochet two together. Back post double crochet in the next stitch, followed by a front post double crochet, and then work a back post double crochet, two stitches together. Repeat that all the way around and join with the slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 29, join with a slip stitch into the top of your first stitch. You'll have a total of 30 stitches. You're then going to chain one for round 30 and begin with a front post double crochet. You're then going to work a back post, front post, double crochet, two stitches together. Next, work a back post double crochet around the post of the next stitch followed by a front post back post double crochet around the posts of the next two stitches. You're going to repeat that all the way around front post double crochet followed by a back post front post uh, double crochet stitch two together followed by a back post double crochet and then a front post, back post, double crochet two together. 
So repeat that all the way around and join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. At the end of round 30, you'll have a total of 20 stitches. You have one round left. For round 31, you've chained one. We're simply going to work double crochet two togethers around the posts of each stitch all the way around. At the end of this round, you're going to have a total of 10 stitches. Join with a slip stitch in the top of your first stitch. Once you've come all the way around, join with that slip stitch into the top of the first stitch. You're then going to fasten off, leaving a little bit of a long tail. Now, taking your yarn needle and that long tail, I would turn your beanie inside out. Now the beanie is reversible, so there isn't too much of a front or a back and you're just going to pull your needle through to the inside. You're then going to just weave in and out around the tops of those top stitches with your yarn needle and your long tail that you left attached. And we're going to use this to pull or cinch the top of our hat close. So weave in and out of those top stitches all the way around when you come back to that first one, you can pull the top of your hat gently closed to close the top. Then I like to secure it just with a small knot just here up at the top before you go ahead and weave in your ends. Now when you turn the beanie inside out, you can see a little bit of a ridge from that final round, but that's okay. You're then going to just simply trim off that end. Go ahead, weave in any other ends that you have. I didn't add a be uh, pom-pom to the top of my hat, but you certainly can if you would like to. But other than that, your ice beanie is complete. So thank you so much for joining me. And uh, once again, don't forget to subscribe. I can't wait to see your finished beanie. So be care, um, be uh, sure to tag me on Rich Textures Crochet on social media. So enjoy. Thank you so much. And I look forward to seeing you again. Until then, happy crocheting. Bye. Bye.